Good morning, Warriors. I'm Johnny Maggio. And I'm Akula Muhammad. Today is Wednesday, March 8th, Day C. One of our most exciting pieces of news this week is the Boys Basketball Class L State Tournament getting underway. This Wednesday is also Thank You Custodian Day, so here's a segment of the Recycling Club with the head of our custodial staff, Mr. Figueroa. Hi, I'm Emily and this is Emma from the Recycling Club. Today, Wilton High School is celebrating Thank You Custodian Day. We are interviewing Mr. Figueroa, the head custodian. We just want to start by thanking you and the custodial team for all the tremendous work you do around the school. I know sometimes the students leave in the evening and the school looks like a tornado blew through. But thanks to the custodian's great work, the building looks miraculously clean the next day. We know it's not easy cleaning up our chaos and we want to make sure your hard work doesn't go unnoticed. The custodians are here early in the morning, late at night, and even over the summer. They shovel snow, clean up litter, paint the walls, repair mechanical systems, set up special events, perform a million other tasks to keep the school running smoothly. We like the students and teachers of the Wilton High School. This is a nice place to work. We enjoy making the school a pleasant and happy place to be. Thank you. What can the students and teachers do to help make your jobs easier? We have put a lot of manpower in the cafeteria during the lunch wave that could be better used in other places. By far the most helpful thing that students could do for the custodian is to clean their tables at the end of their lunch wave. They should put their paper plates, utensils into the blue trash receptacles, their water and juice bottles in the recycling bin. That would help us out a lot. Thanks, any other ideas? The custodians spend a lot of time cleaning up the jungle. I think this is a good idea for the seniors to have their own meeting place and study area, but the custodians are hoping that they will be needed. Thanks for your great ideas and letting us interview you. We are also thankful for the custodians' efforts. We are all one team. I'm sure everyone will try their best to help make sure the school is beautiful. Remember to thank a custodian today. We would also like to remind everyone to donate their old clothes in the textile recycling bins located in the senior parking lot. Thank you. Thank you for all the work you do around the school. I'd like to thank the custodians for all their support and all the different projects that I do. Yes, you are awesome. You help us in more ways than I can imagine. Thank you all for, for your hard work. We're really grateful for all you do for the school. From setting up for all the different workshops, for setting up for St. Baldrick's and donating their time above and beyond. Oh uh, yeah, I appreciate the custodians for like, you know, helping keep the school clean and like safe. I just want to thank the custodians for all of the hard work that they do here in the school and for keeping my room especially clean. Thank you very much. Um, we want to be able to keep it clean and safe without you guys, so thanks. They're always like very friendly and they're always smiling when you see them. I mean, you just keep the school great, you guys are friendly, I mean, you just, you guys are the best and we love you. As another reminder, if you're registered for St. Baldrick's, please continue fundraising efforts as the event is less than a week away. And as always, here's Jackson Dill with the weather. Jackson? All right, thank you guys. So the top story for this week is going to be the cooler temperatures. It's going to be warm today, but heading into the weekend, let, check out these highs only in the 30s and 20s. Saturday's going to be, real, be a brutal day with temperatures only in the mid-20s. Our average high is 44, so we're going to be up to 20 degrees below average. It's going to be chilly. Winter's making a comeback. If you take a look at the 7 forecast, we got the beautiful sunshine warm today. You're going to want to enjoy the spring warmth because temperatures are going to be on the decline heading into the weekend. We have a chance for snow on Friday. That chance is pretty light, though, and not that significant. We have another chance on Sunday. Again, it's not that significant. That's why it's sunny skies in the forecast as the snow looks to stay for the south of the Atlantic. But then on Tuesday, I have snowflakes in the forecast because there is a greater chance for snow. It's still uncertain though, so this forecast is subject to change. Before we go, just want to say a shout out to those who placed this past weekend at the New England track meet. Aaron Breen, Chris Colbert, and Morgan McCormick. Great job, guys. That's all for this week. I'm Aquila Muhammad. And I'm Johnny Maggio. Have a great week. Muhammad. Today is Wednesday, January. It's not January. It's not January. It's not January. It's March. Downhill, we have a chance for snow on Friday. The chance isn't looking that big, though. Then we have another chance for snow on Sunday. Again, the snow chance is not that great. That's why I don't have snow in the forecast, because I think the snow is going to stay south over the Mid-Atlantic region. Then on Tuesday, we have a third chance for snow. This one looks like the greatest chance. We'll be tracking it throughout the week.